Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours for Wednesday, May 31st. Today is the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let's have that moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town of Judah. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands, my soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night. For you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a town of Judah. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant in her womb lived for joy, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All your waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All your hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All your winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, Bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, 
bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Michelle, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant in her womb leaped for joy, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Mary, because you believe that the Lord's words to you would be fulfilled. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbre and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hands. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in feathers of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This glory is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Mary, because you believe that the Lord's words to you would be fulfilled. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never more be put to shame. Then afterward, I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Good morning. We all know and understand what unconditional love is, which is simply put, an affection without any limitations or a love without any condition. Unconditional love is what God bestowed in its and every one of us. Through the water of baptism, we become God's own children his own priceless possession, his sons and daughter. That same unconditional love was proven by Christ upon the cross. Christ asked us to join his mission on 
sharing the same love to our neighbors, especially to those needy and to those who mourn. Unconditional love is what our mother gave us, our parents gave us, embracing us no matter what, in spite of everything. We are loved and we need to prophesy that same love as the scripture has said. As true sons and daughter of God, we need to freely share that same love by caring one another. God loves us so much that He, being merciful in those moments that we are broken into. God show us His love by blessing us with tangible things and spiritual things as well. And those gifts are not for us to keep, but for us to share, to show that same unconditional love to our family, our friends, and to our neighbors. So as we continue this morning prayer, we thank God for that love, that perfect love, that He might continue to inspire us to share that same love so we can care and embrace one another. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. The, the Lord, Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from, from the beginning. He has taken her to live with him, his, his loved, loved one, from, from the beginning. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The, the Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from, from the beginning. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, she cried out and said, Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, she cried out and said, Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me?
Let us glorify our Savior, who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin, was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. Lord, help us imitate Mary, your mother, who choose the best part. May we seek the food that will sustain us forever. Savior of the world, by your redeeming might you preserve your mother beforehand from all stains of sin. Keep watch over us, lest we sin. You are our Redeemer, who made Immaculate Virgin Mary your purest home and the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Make us temples of your Spirit forever. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to Jesus Christ, our Savior. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede, intercede for us, Lord. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, you inspired the Virgin Mary, mother of your son, to visit Elizabeth and assist her in her need. Keep us open to the working of your Spirit, and with Mary, may we praise you forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. My Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.